I think. It's the brainchild of artist Mark Stevens. Thousands of people packed into the Cow Palace last night for what's become an X-rated Bay Area tradition. It's called the Exotic Erotic Ball. As NBC 11's Monty Francis reports, this year's event aroused some controversy with San Francisco City Hall. The Exotic Erotic Ball is described as a celebration of flesh, fetish, and fantasy. And thousands of people filled the Cow Palace to watch the spectacle. I don't see all the crazy outfits and the way they mix it up in there. and It's just a lot of fun just to look at this good people watching. While the more daring decided to take part in the show. You get to be who you never would be. You get to dress how you never would dress. You get to do what mom and dad always told you not to. <laughs> Among the curious this year was actor and former child star, Danny Bonaducci. I've never been to it before. I didn't know what to expect. I was scared. I thought, I'm going to come. I'm going to try it. Only Jesus Christ is the one that can bring true delight, not sex. Outside, a group of protesters shouted at the attendees, saying the event promotes immorality. It's like a pagan festival, and God has died for even the worst of sinners. To be sure, this year's ball is not without controversy. San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom decided not to issue a proclamation welcoming the event, fearing the city would associate itself with one of the event's sponsors, rapper Snoop Dogg, who recently pleaded no contest to felony drug charges. The ball's founder, Perry Mann, had this message for the mayor. Give the proclamation back. Give it to the Healing Circle and come to the Exotic Erotic Ball. And the Healing Circle is the charity that will benefit from last night's event to the tune of about $50,000. I should also mention that there was a shooting on Friday night about a block from the Cow Palace. Police tell me that it had no connection to the event. It also had no effect on last night's security plan. In Daly City, Monty Francis, NBC 11 News. Well, people usually say what happens in the privacy of the bedroom, but it's the cow palace, it's not the bedroom, yeah, so. That's interesting. <laughs> well, you know, two minutes of a news story in 28 minutes you didn't see. <laughs> exactly, oh, yeah, that shoot a lot of video to get some stuff we could mm -hmm. show on TV. Well, the one. No one was complaining. Yeah, yeah, huh. the, well, let's start. <laughs>